Good evening, fellow Derby Democratic Town Committee members and citywide Democrats. Tonight is with distinct pleasure that I present a candidate for mayor of our great city of Derby, a man whose love for this city is second to none and who can and will do better, namely Carmen DeCento. Carmen's father immigrated from Italy at the age of 19 for a better life, and Carmen's mother endured a disadvantaged upbringing until raised by caring family members. They met, married, and started a family in Derby. Interestingly enough, Carmen has lived in all three wards of this city, having been born on Buddy's Terrace off Park Avenue, the second ward, and raised in both McLaughlin Terrace, the first ward, and Ida Avenue, the third ward. Carmen was educated at St. Mary's School and is a graduate of the Derby High School class of 1969. He furthered his post-secondary education at Housatana Community College in Central Connecticut, earning a two-year degree in applied science. At Derby High School, Carmen excelled at track and football, thus his love for the game, which led him to be a coach of Derby Pop Warner football for many years advancing to Derby High School as an assistant coach and finally the head coach, mentoring and guiding young boys and men on and off the field. Carmen also for many years coached Derby girls youth softball, later assisting at DHS, again as a trusted team leader and advisor to young girls and women. In his early days, earlier days, Carmen was employed at a few familiar jobs at Derby businesses such as Healy Service Station, Rose Flower Shop, and Joe Nick's Market, but finally ended up at b and Men and Boys Store, where he began work as an employee and later successfully owning and operating a said business for 30 years until his retirement in 2010. However, Carmen did not retire. In 2010, he began mentoring autistic individuals for Ben Haven, teaching physical ed education at St. Mary St. Michael School and working as the Mater D at Italian Pavilion, all of which continues today. Amidst all this, Carmen's political career was launched in 2011, now serving in his sixth year on the Board of Aldermen, Alderwoman, and second term as president of said board. He also served and has served on many other committees, such as the Capital Plan Commission, Baseball Field Relocation Committee, and currently as Chairman of the Blight Committee. Why have I talked so much about Carmen's background and the time allowed? It is to tell you what you may not know about Carmen and to firmly announce Carmen's life has been and is all about the city of Derby. Throughout his upbringing, coaching, employment, mentoring, and political experience, Carmen has had a commitment to the following, to family, to better the youth, to community service, to being a team, and to the city of Derby. Furthermore, Carmen is a leader, an individual who is well organized and, and exercises, exercises the skill of timeliness, has capable management skills to effect, effectively run city business and its support staff, can resolve daily challenges and issues, has vision and ideas, who can communicate appropriately guide our residents with integrity and compassion and motivate all to make the city of Derby better. Carmen will be a leader who will follow our city charter and ordinances and, and will respect and abide by the authority and role of the Board of Aldermen Alderwomen, the city's legislative body, as well as other boards, commissions, committees, and authorities of this city. Carmen will be a leader who will communicate directly and honestly and disclose with all interested and necessary parties with all city boards, commissions, committees, and departments, instead of learning of significant issues and critical matters, hirings and firings from the news media, newspapers, or social media. Carmen will be a leader who will be proactive in addressing important issues and problems instead of being reactive and assigning responsibility for a fault or wrong on someone else. Carmen will be a leader who will treat an employee or department staff member or city officer former employee or city retiree with dignity and respect and not intimidation and humiliation. Carmen will be a leader who will represent us in our city with pride and delegate if necessary in attending all events held in our city and the surrounding valley, such as the annual Derby Shelton Memorial Day service honoring our veterans fundraising and benefit events, business grand openings, or a school function. 
Carmen will be a leader who will entrust our city business and government administration in both our city's public and private information with authorized and permitted individuals and personnel. Carmen will be a leader who will give credit to whom and where it is due and not disregard its source or portray an idea or concept or accomplishment as their own, but that of teamwork. Carmen will be a leader who will appoint and or reappoint all necessary governmental positions, <coughs> boards, commissions, committees, and authority as empowered in a timely manner. Carmen will be a leader who will embrace and motivate all elected and appointed officials so, so no matter what their party affiliation, employees, city departments, and residents of Derby as a team so we can do better. That leader of the team, our next mayor of the city of Derby, must be Carmen DeCenzo. As Democrats, you must realize that Carmen DeCenzo can be the Republican candidate, Rich Zekin. Emphatically, Republicans are switching their party affiliation to Democrats in support of Carmen. In the 2015 municipal election, the present Republic, Republican candidate needed just 57 votes to defeat and claim victory over our current mayor. Carmen received 54% of the total vote cast in the third ward to win his aldermanic seat, beating out both Zekin and the current mayor, in that order, of their mayoral votes received in said ward. In both the 2013 and 2011 municipal election, Carmen received 59% and 55% respectively of the total vote cast in the third ward to win his aldermanic seat. Moreover, seven of eight current sitting Democratic aldermen Alder women who are seeking re-election, who themselves are of the highest vote-getters in this city, are supporting Carmen. Finally, Carmen has the ability to defeat the Republican candidate and, and enable the Democrats to remain in charge as he makes the city of Derby better. Having been both an elected and appointed officials for three different administrations and serving six of my almost eight years on the Board of Aldermen, Alder Women with Carmen, I have had the opportunity to see and experience his tireless dedication, passion, pride, respect, commitment, and resolve for our great city. I have heard his ideas, observed him immediately address and handle an issue of follow through to get a resolution, and watch him be a visible part of our city's overall governmental functioning. Carmen has the ability to work with and across party lines for the betterment of our city and its residents. What is inherent about Derby's culture is to participate in our government and community to better our city and have the motivation to do so. There is nothing more synonymous with working as a team with a leader to strive to do better. A man who will be the next and better leader, the chief executive officer of our beloved city, Carmen DeCenzo. We can do better and we must do better. Finally, it is with honor and the utmost confidence that I nominate Carmen DeCenzo for the office of mayor of the city of Derby. Thank you.